Hey, what's up guys? Welcome again to Savage Gaming and our second episode of Subsistence. Um, and this one, I just wanted you guys to watch the sunrise with me for now. Today, we're going to expand a little bit on our floor space because this is a, a little bit of a cramped room, hey? I think uh, we're not going to get any Wi-Fi yet, so we're going to have to do something about it. So there's the sun coming up. The nice thing about this game is you can stare at the sun without hurting your eyes. <laughs> but yeah, no, it really looks cool. And I think if you equip your axe, you can see how the, um, at the tip of the axe, how the, the, the shadows sort of reflect off it. It looks so cool. You know, it's just little things like that in this game that I really, really like. And it's peaceful. It's peaceful enough, for me at least. Um, I suppose for some of the noobs out there, you would say this game's too hectic or it's a bit difficult. But... Uh, once you get a hold of the mechanics, it's actually not that bad. It's actually pretty simple. So, we're going to check our fire. All right, need some fuel. So, I've got two logs here. I did do a bit of grinding um, as the sun was setting. So, I'll let you in on my morning routine. So, this early in the morning, you're not going to find much spawned around the map. Or at least, I don't find a lot spawned around the map. So, I'm just going to replenish our fire. We're going to need to get a lot of cordage, um, some nails, and yeah, let's hopefully we get some nice loot crates and we can get a wolf or a bear. Um, you know, that's maybe a good idea as well for today. Oops, I missed one. Okay, so I want to pop this in our fire. So let's open our fire up. Let's pop that in there. That'll keep our fire burning nicely. And then we'll put this extra log in here. For those desperate times where you don't have time to chop a tree. Right, okay. Right, so let's go. We're going to go on a little bit of a uh, exploration here today. So normally I would go here and I'd start looking for things like um, iron uh, and copper and zinc and potassium, etc. And this rock often spawns them. So it's nice to have close to your base. As you can see, there is some iron. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a nice rock to have. It doesn't always spawn, but uh, it's quite reliable and nice to have close to your base. Um, so let's just go into the distance here a little bit. Normally a lot of wolves and bears spawn up here, guys. So I'm going to be careful as I run through here. Oh, it looks so cool through the tree, eh? Wow. It looks awesome. All right, so yeah, basically I do a run. I go down here. Uh, there is normally some crates, there are some wolves and bears in this area as well. Uh, so you just got to time it right, um, because sometimes uh, later on in the day they are wandering to this area. And then you've got big problems on your hands, uh, trying to get around them. Okay, we've got some cloth as well, which is nice, we wanted some of that. Um, let's have a look here. We've got a bear down there, standing in front of fiber, so we're not going to go bother him at this stage we don't have shotguns and rifles etc and we also don't have decent clothing so we, currently we are in our pants and that's it and not for long because i'm probably going to tear that up into uh to cloth for later on okay, there's a chicken i'm going to give him a run so let's run and get this chicken quickly so you can chase him down it just takes a he does take a breather for a second and then you've got to pick him up. So hopefully on the next stop, we'll catch him. Yes, we've got our chicken, All right. So our chicken will die eventually if we just run around with him all the time. But yeah, it's some much needed food and meat that we are going to need for protein. So one or two chickens is gonna help a real, a real, a real boatload. Um, I don't think we have enough bullets or uh, killing another wolf so we're gonna have to rely in the beginning on crates berries chickens these kind of things that's where we're going to get our our um, oh, there's a crate down there and that's where we're gonna get our sustenance from our proteins and that so we've got to watch fruit and veg and we've got to watch protein oh no why is the bear going there no bear okay, I'm gonna see if I can get around to that crate if it is possible, guys, I'm going to try, if it is possible. Yes, it is definitely possible. 
Right. Okay, five. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. We need those nails, people. We need those nails. Nails are mainly used, or actually only used, for building um, structures in your base. So, building uh, foundations and walls and stairs and things like that, you're going to need nails, railings as well. I think you need nails or scrap metal. So, yeah, you've just got to be careful of that. Make sure you get those brown loot crates because those are the ones that are going to give you your nails. Um, the ones with the plus sign on them, that's obviously the medical sign, that's obviously going to be your berries, water, seeds, uh, stuff like that. And then, let's just watch my stamina. Okay, and then, yeah, and then you get the bluish crates, which are the ammo crates. And I think they've got a bullet icon on them as well, but, you know, if you're in the distance and you spot something, you, know, you spot the crate and you can see it's blue, you know it's not going to give you water. Um, or, or anything, you know, or berries or anything like that. It's going to give you, um, it's going to give you nails. I mean, it's going to give you bullets and gunpowder and ammo cases. So, yeah, we're running around. It's looking a bit bland this morning. Um, I'm hoping it will clear up or improve during the day. There's not much stuff around here. So far, it's just bears that I've seen so far and rabbits. And we caught a chicken, so that's it's one plus side, so let's avoid that bear. Uh, let's see. There's normally some cool stuff spawning up here. There we go. There's a little first aid crate, uh, crate or a supply crate there. Ah, some more tomato seeds. So that's going to be really cool. Once, once you've got about eight tomato seeds, then it's a good idea to build a... Oh, where's he, where's he? I don't see him. It's a good idea to build a like a grow bed uh, for plants because tomatoes give a heck of a lot of um, fruit and veg uh, supply and also the um, hydration side as well goes up a little bit uh, when you eat tomatoes. They do take a few days to grow, but I can guarantee you for every tomato for every plant you get two uh, two tomatoes. So that that's really really nice. Um, those will. Um, keep you going for a long time as well and you don't have to refrigerate them so they don't spoil which is nice um, the other cool thing is when you build a chicken coop um, once you've built your chicken coop you can actually grow chickens up to level 3 and when you've upgraded your chicken coop you can go up to level 10 and you get like really cool protein they give you fat they give you feathers so uh, chickens are really really worth it in this game um, and probably keep me alive mostly uh, wolves and bears are there if I'm desperate um, so I'm just gonna go do a run around today hopefully we find some more crates as well we've got a lot of wolves and bears up here I mean that's just in the space of a few meters those guys are sp spawned right there by each other we're gonna run around here let's see if we can spot a crate and no, uh, I think I think I saw scrap metal yeah did I, did I, did I? That no, was just a plot. Dang. Okay, so I think I'm going to run back to base quick. I think our fire should be about dying as well. So we need to get our fire going. I'm a bit disappointed about the fire burn this, uh, on this day so far, but we'll find more. It's, it's just a matter of uh, being persistent. There's some scrap metal. Yeah, baby. Awesome. Everything is awesome. <laughs> Now I'm going to get that song stuck in my head. Ah, oh, and there's a wolf right by our base. Oh, goodness. Come on, pick it up. Thank you. Right, let's have a look. Maybe there's some more. Come on, guys. It's still close. Not close to Christmas, but it's still close enough to give presents to Savage Gaming. Come on. Ah. Some medicinal plants. Now, these, these medicinal plants... In the beginning seem quite futile and pointless but they are not they can create first aid kits they can uh, create a whole bunch of stuff for you um, yeah very 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 cool to have uh, so let's just uh, put our stuff back in here uh, let's see we got some there and so it's nice you can stack stuff on each other as well and see how much you've got i think we might be able to build a bullet or two as well it's a cloth Ah, we've got some cotton seeds, we've got more water, and it looks like our character's getting a bit hungry. Uh, let's make that cordage. 
Right. And some more nails. Right, okay. So let's kill our chicken. Boom. And we butcher him. So he's going to give us some meat and some feathers. Okay, the meat we need to eat. So let's eat some meat. Let's uh, put some wood on the fire quickly. Just a little bit. I don't like my fire running so low. We're going to eat our meat. Oh my goodness, there's a locked crate there. Ah, oh, They're taunting us, guys. They're taunting us. And the reason why I say they're taunting us because they want us to build our base command unit. Um, which I think we should build. Stuff it, you know what? Why not? So what does it take? Base command unit, we've got enough. Okay, so we need to build a wall. We've got enough. Let's build a... Jeez, uh, oh, I didn't want to build a wall now. I want to build a foundation first. Uh, foundation is two cordage. We've got five. And the wood is two cordage. So we can. We can build a foundation. We can build our wall. We can build our base command unit. Right, so we're going to get those three because I am definitely going to go get that lock crate. There's lots of goodies inside there. So come on, chicken, 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 chicken. Cook. Cook for savage. Cook. Okay, while well, that's cooking, let me just get, get some logs here. We're going to need some wood. That fire's going to burn out very quickly. Our woodies. Let's put them on the fire. Our chicken's cooked. Eat it. Eat it now, bitch. Eat that chicken. Okay, so we've got our chicken. Right, we've got our other foundation, which I'm going to pop around about here. Um, so they do snap into place, but I want to I want to angle it nice so that the wood so the wood floor lines up nice because I'm going to build a cozy little cabin here for us guys. We're going to have a cozy cabin. Right, so then we've got our wall. So let's put up our wall here. Where's that number? There we go. Okay. Um, there we go. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Then we can put up our base command unit. Just there. And this is going to give us a lockpick. Yeah, that's what we wanted. So the hunters are going to start spawning now, but you know what? I'll survived with him around before. Uh, yo, dodge that friggin' wolf. He's dangerous. Let's get some fiber. Let's get up to that crate. Go away, wolfie. Go away. Leave me alone. There's a locked creature. I earned it. Oh, look there. Awesomeness. Look how much stuff you get out of this thing, guys. In the next few days, the hunters will start moving into the world. Uh, okay. So I get copper, I get wood, I get um, iron fragments, nails, bullets, lots of protein bars, lovely, and more tomato seeds. That is awesome. Take all. Thank you very much, Lay. Okay, is that wolf still there? Where did, what did he go? Ah, there he is. Ah, I'm going to avoid him. But I really want that crate. Ah, how am I going to get that crate without letting the old wolfie in on my secret jet? Yeah, I'm going to crouch down, see if I can do it. Sometimes works better with the bears, and sometimes works with the wolf. you just got to be quick. I'm close enough to base to get away. So, yeah. Awesomeness. Yeah, so now we've got our cool stuff, man. Cool stuff. So now we can start really rocking and rolling here. Okay, so we can pull some more cordage, because we've got two fibers there. Nice. Here's our planks. There we go. Oh, give me some nice rifle bullets, nails, we've got cordage, we've got some more tomato seeds. Yeah, baby. We're running out of space here for all this stuff, eh? By the looks of it. Just keep stacking, keep stacking. Just keep stacking, just keep stacking. Alright, shotgun bullets. Now I think it's proper, proper, proper. We've actually got no space to put stuff now. Um, we can't render that fat yet, um, but I don't mind losing it, that's okay. Right, so I'll put that there, cordages in there, so we can still build two more, two more thingy my bobbies before we have to, uh, uh, before we can enclose our base. So I want to make it like, I think, we're going to do it like, yeah, I think two, maybe three logs, three foundations across. Yeah, that's going to be a nice and spacious base. And then we'll do curved edges, yeah, and up there, make it like a big, 
cylinder. I think that's going to be really cool. And then maybe we'll have an exit here and an exit down there as well. So we've got two ways in. Um, and the reason why I say that is if I'm exploring on this side of the map and I get chased down by a bear or a wolf or a hunter, I can get into my base from this angle and the same from here. I don't have to run around in a circle. So that's my thinking behind it. Um, and it has worked reasonably well for me so far. Okay. So I've got a bit of grinding to do, looks like I want to need to get some planks in here. I'll go and get some more cordage um, and then we can start carrying on with our base. So I'm really chuffed that we got that loot crate. That has helped us a crap load. Um, we are going to need some more protein. So if I spot a chicken, I am definitely going to take him down. They do also spawn in this area, so I'm looking forward to them coming. Whoa, there's a bear. Ah, uh, back off, back off. There he is, there he is in the bush. Okay. All right. Okay, so... Let's go on our last little quick run for the day. We're going to run and pick up whatever we can. We're not going to look for anything specific. I've spotted some fiber. Yeah, baby. Awesomeness, awesomeness. Um, let's see. No more crates, guys. Come on. Give me a lock crate and then you, you withhold the goodies. We're probably going to run into a hunter soon as well. That you don't want to do now. Those guys are OP. They are killer. And so hard to kill yourself. I mean, you need serious, serious skills, eh? That I can tell you. But I found nice ways uh, to, to get the hunters to um, to play my game. Oh, goodness. I've run out of stamina. How's my... Ooh, yeah, okay. You don't want to take on a wolf or something now. Got to get back to base. I want to get this crate first. Come on, there we go. Hello, crate, crate, crate. Okay. So another way to get your stamina up really quickly um, is to chop a tree or to chop uh, uh, to mine rocks. That's a really good way to get your stamina up. So what you see now, my stamina is pretty low. I pull out my axe, start chopping a tree. You'll see my stamina goes up pretty quickly. So there we go, we've got a bit of extra stamina, see some fiber and some scrap metal. Let's go grab it. Grab it baby, grab it. Right. Now let's head back to base quick, I need to stock up on some food here. My character is uh, very low. Okay, so what have we got? We've got some protein bars, I'm going to chomp one of those. Eat the apple. I'm going to split some berries up here, split one of the waters up as well. Uh, mix the berry into the water. Okay, and I'm going to um, let me see. Yeah, okay, let's just drink that. That'll bring some of my stuff up. I'm gonna have another one more protein bar, and I'm gonna eat a berry. Okay, so that's put me up nicely. That should last me the rest of the day. And uh, yeah, I think it's now time to. Do some more grinding, get some more wood, get some more cordage, um, some fibers in that so that we can make cordage and we can start building our new base. So yeah, day two and we've done pretty well. We've got our command unit up, we've got our fire going, something of fire. Do we have any logs for it? Yes, we do. Let's fuel that fire. Okay, so it looks like we're pretty good. Pretty good in the hood and we've picked up some nice stuff. We can make some more cordage. We've got to get some more planks. We've got plenty of scrap metal. We've got plenty of these for now, or for what we need. And that's it. I think that's it for today as well. Um, watch out for the next episode. It will be a new day um, in the game. I see it's, uh, it's starting to get close to evening. So, uh, yeah, I'll wait out the night um, and survive another night. And then I will upload the next episode and we can carry on with our base building, guys. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that and uh, leave a like and a comment if I missed something and if you need me to cover something else 
Um, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I'll see you on the next episode, guys. Cheers.